So we're going to play with circles some more. And now we're going to talk about writing the equation for the circle. And then have it show up instead of just drawing it. Um, so we know that generally it's going to be x squared plus y squared. You know, up here is my equation. Let's type it in for me. It's going to show up here equals some number and that number happens to be r squared but we can just throw any number in there okay boom there's a circle all right and it happens to be centered at the origin unfortunately desmos doesn't show us the center point but we can kind of see it uh, we know it's centered at the origin because i didn't add anything to the x and the y um so let's add something to the x and the y so let's do a new equation. Well, let's just, actually, let's just adjust this equation. We can do that. All right, so we got to do parentheses. And let's, uh, let's see if it, it's backwards. The equation and how the circle moves is backwards. So if I want to move to the right, that's x, that's x, I better subtract something. x minus 3. And then we're going to get the parentheses around that. And so we can square the whole thing. And look, my circle moved, actually, three to the right. Okay. Um, what if we want to move it up? Well, up is y, so let's put some parentheses around y. And up is positive, so this is backwards, so we got to go minus. And let's minus uh, four. Close parentheses, so we got y minus 4 squared. And look, we moved it up. Center is 4. Yeah, yeah, center is okay. Now, you don't have to do integers. You can do anything. Let's put one over here uh, left and up. Well, again, it's got to be, we've got to go parentheses because we're going to put x plus or minus something in parentheses and then square the whole thing. Um, x. Let's see, if I want to move it left, that would be plus something because it's backwards. X plus 2, close the parentheses, square it. Um, wow, what that make? Oh, they made a parabola. Oh, yeah, X squared's a parabola. Um, but we want to move it left, that's the X plus 2, and up. So now we go parentheses Y. Uh, but let's see, minus, well, we'll just stick with 2, who cares. Uh, 22? No, no, that's going to move it way too high. Um, and we got to get outside the parentheses and square the whole parentheses. Now, it didn't graph anything because it doesn't know what size to make it. Um, well, let's pick a number 4. All right, there we go. So there is one that we moved away from the origin because, let's just throw one on the origin x squared plus y squared equals 1 is at around the origin. It's nice that these have colors. Um, and the purple one, we moved it, said plus 2, so that moved it left. We said minus 2, so that moved it up. That's here, left and up. Again, the things associated with the x and the y are the coordinates of the center of the circle. This stuff on the right is how big the circle is. It's actually r squared. Um, so this is r squared. 1 is r squared, so r is 1. This r squared is 4, so r is 2. And if you'll notice here, the radius of this is 2. Um, r squared is 7. So what's the square root of 7? Anyone know that? I don't know that offhand, but I know it's in between 2 and 3. And if we were to look at this, again, our center is at four, 3, 4. So there's our center. So, and that's our radius. So it's, yeah, it's a little bit bigger than 2. Whoop. Zoom. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's how you make circles. It's right in the equation. Make them, um, you can actually even write it as r squared. Um, let's just 
get rid of some of these. And let's uh, let's put it left. So let's go x plus one, moving it one to the left, squared plus y minus. Now let's go. We haven't done y plus in a while, have we? All right. So let's go y plus y plus two. Get outside and square that whole thing equals, now here's what we can do, 2 squared. Hey, where's our circle? We moved it left and down. Okay, there we go. It was left and down. And notice we said 2 squared. Well, this circle will have a radius of 2. Because we said that this is going to be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So radius of the circle is 2. Now, we can make the exact same circle by saying 4. I'm going to copy that. We could have just said 4. And you'll see that the circles are just overlapping. See, it's, it's now kind of reddish black also. Yeah, same thing. This might be easier for some people to understand that it's R squared. This might be hard for people to understand that there's that's R involved in there. But So that's how you write equations to make it. Um, just to show you, let's, uh, let's make a mistake. Instead of saying plus in here, see, instead of saying plus there, let us say minus. Well, that's a strange graph. Well, we haven't played the there we are now. It's a minus, and look what we get. We don't get a circle. We get kind of the opposite of a circle. Neat looking thing. Let's hide that one. Let's hide that one. That's what we get if we would say minus, not a circle. So just remember that. Desmos is a nice kid. Old graph, whatever you type in there.